Thank you for joining us. Now, here are some of the stories we're filing at this hour. I am Frank Komalape. Now, the Independent Petroleum Markets Association of Nigeria has asked Nigerians to prepare for the worst fuel crisis. The Petrol Markets Association have earlier asked the federal government to prevail on the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority to pay its members their outstanding and breaching claims amounting to over 500 billion naira. The Ipman chairman in Kano State, Bashir Damalan, made the remarks while addressing a news conference in Kano State on Monday. He said the failure of the regulatory authority to pay the bridging claims otherwise known as transportation claims had forced many of its members out of business as they couldn't transport the commodity due to high cost of diesel he lamented that non-payment of the claims by the regulatory authority for over eight months had crippled the businesses of many of their members as they couldn't transport the commodity even though it was available According to him, due to the failure of the regulatory authority to pay their standing claims for about nine months, many marketers cannot transport the product because their funds are not being paid. Despite the high price of diesel, they managed to supply the petroleum products nationwide. Dan Malan therefore called on the federal government to intervene before the situation degenerated into a serious fuel crisis and spread to other parts of the country. And now the International Maritime Organization, IMO, has expressed its disappointment with Nigeria and 19 other countries in Western Central Africa for failing to correct the deficiency uncovered in the maritime administration processes after an audit exercise. Speaking during a workshop organized by IMO and the Abuja Memorandum of Understanding on Port State Control for Heads of Maritime Administrations in Western Central Africa in, in Lagos on Monday, the head of Africa Te Technical Cooperation Division of IMO, William Azu said 20 organization member states in West and Central Africa region have been audited, but none has implemented the recommended corrective action plans. Azu noted, nearly 100% of the maritime administrations in the region have been audited. He, however, lamented actions on the corrective action plan have been very dismal, to say the least, extremely poor, according to him. And away from there now, Nigerian electricity generating companies sent out a total of 86,243.1 megawatts of energy on Monday, 9th of May 2022, representing a 0.3% decline compared to 86,508.2 megawatts of supplied the previous day. This is according to information from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. Similarly, energy generation declined by 0.3% to 87.58 kilo uh, megawatts from 87.81 kilowatts recorded on Sunday, uh, fairly falling further before the minimum of 105,000 megawatts required to record some level of stability in power supply in the country. Why Nigerians continue to grapple with epileptic power supply with multiple grid disruptions recorded so far in 2022, causing widespread blackouts across the country. The highest frequency of the day was 50.94 uh, gigahertz, while the lowest frequency was around 49.3 uh, megahertz. Also, 98.47% of the energy generated on Sunday was supplied to discos. And now, President Mohamed Buhari has urged the World Bank, African Development Bank, and other partners to support One Planet Summit initiative and activate the 19 billion US dollars pledge, which will be utilized for land restoration, tree planting, development of climate resilience infrastructure, and investment in small and medium sized farms. Buhari spoke in Abidjan, the Côte d'Ivoire capital. At a side event, he convened at the ongoing United Nations Conference of Parties in his capacity as the president of the Conference of Head of State and Government of the Member States of the Pan-African Great Green Wall Agency. At a select meeting, which included international development partners, Buhari said the fund will also support smallholders farmers, create institutional framework to enhance security, stability and governance, and capacity building. 
President Buhari underscores the importance of recharging Lake Chad now down to 10% of its water volume as 11 Sahel African states discuss ways and means of accessing and utilizing the cash for the activities of the uh, agency. The Security and Exchange Commission has proposed some guidelines that will allow capital market operators and investors to digitize all of their processes. The requirements are contained in the Minimum Operating Standards of Information Technology for Capital Market Operators recently is posed to the public and released by the SEC. The Commission argued that rules establishing basic market operating criteria were essential due to the increasing reliance of financial services and related companies on technology. Uh, Security and Exchange Commission said the guidelines will establish a threshold for operational efficiency in the market through effective adoption of information technology in driving businesses to ensure security, confidentiality, integrity, and reliability of information systems. And now the federal government of Nigeria reported a record-breaking fiscal deficit of 7.3 trillion in 2021. According to data from the Central Bank of Nigeria, the federal government's actual expenditure of 11.69 trillion naira vastly exceeded its 2021 generated revenues of 4.39 trillion naira. We call that the Nigerian government has been running a fiscal deficit for at least 10 years from 2012 to 2021. However, the latest 2021 deficit is simply remarkable and is 22% higher than the 5.98 trillion naira deficit recorded in 2020. These increases can be attributed to a higher debt profile which now stands at 95.87 billion US dollars as of 2021 or about 11% higher than the 86.39 billion US dollars as of 2020 according to data from the Debt Management Office. You're still watching business now coming to you live from our studios here. We'll take a moment now when we're back. We'll return with more stories. Please stay with us. <laughs>